taking a quick drive up Snake Creek Road just to get out of the air for a bit. That's just the rocks and pebbles on this dirt road, dude. Getting flicked around. Featuring Great Basin National Park. Anyone want their windows open? Creek on the left. How far up does it say? I don't know. Doesn't say. It doesn't say at all. No, they look like Halloween trees. Raggly witchy trees. Hello, we found some aspen. Look, aspen. Aspen tree, yeah. <laughs> Found a little campsite up here. Taking a quick break. I hear a creech. Here's where you pitch your tent, guys, right here. Make it flat for you. Uh oh, how do you get down there, though? Over here. Oh, it's more water than I thought. Get in the water. Go ahead. Can I cross the river? You want? They have a bunch of uh, tent sites up here and random little campgrounds. I mean, not a bunch, just a couple, but it's so empty, it's so uh, wildernessy. It'd be a cool place to tent, tent camp, or if you had a really small uh, trailer like a Bambi or something like that. Um, it's really peaceful up here, no one around. You get the whole park to yourself, basically. Saturday morning, and what are we uh, gonna do right now? I don't know the heck. <laughs> we're going a big, hour, four hour we're going a big hike. I can it's like pulling teeth like though sometimes daddy. with the kids. Mm. A lot of resistance here from Livia. I had to tickle her until she got moving here. Apparently they don't want to hike. What would you rather do? I'd rather sleep. Sleep? What do you mean sleep? You don't sleep. You guys get up at the crack of dawn. I try to get you to sleep more, you never want to. I'd rather rest here. Just rest there? I'm having trouble with my I'm dog, watch TV. Yeah, well, no. Not gonna happen. Yeah, we're going up to the summit of, uh, here in Great Basin. Do like an alpine hike around some lakes. Maybe even what? see... You mean See some you? of the oldest trees in the world. The Bristlecone Pines. They can live up to 5,000 years old. 5,000? Yeah. Only remaining glacier. Yeah. I don't know me. if it's much of a glacier. We'll not have to make it to there, but we'll see. Not anyway, me. let's get cracking because we gotta leave early. Got to get going. Okay. Give it a head. Right, we're on our way up to Wheeler Peak, which is actually closed. That's where our hike is, but um, we can, I think we can hopefully park a little bit further down and then just have a little bit extra hike to get up there. What? <laughs> yeah, that's no, you're crazy. Stop. I kid you not. Yeah, look, you see where the tree stops growing? That yeah. becomes too t high for the tree. Yeah, to grow. that's above the tree line. So there's not enough oxygen for them to grow up there. Wow, there's a little bit of snow and ice up there. The remnants of Nevada's last glacier. Yep, climate change has been melting it. I can't believe they have any snow and ice up here. It's 10,000 feet. Crazy. We're at whoa, we're at 10,000 feet. Aspen. Oh yeah, we love aspen trees. I wonder what this looks like in September. So pretty. Oh, well, they turn so orange, don't yep. they? Wow. Like when we were in Durango, we did that hike. Turn All these aspen trees in September, October, will, will turn bright yellow and orange. Like is there bark? No, they're leaves. And it's real pretty. Oh, it's so much. Yep. So, 
the summit parking is up there and it's closed for construction. So well, unfortunately we got to park further down here and a little more hiking. So. There. Wheeler Peak Summit Trail, Wheeler Peak Scenic Drive closed. Yes, we know all about that. So where are we? You are here. We are here. Normally we could have parked there. Boo. We're going to do this. But then we're not going to go up here. We're going to go around this lake leap thingy. And then we want to do some Wait, bristle climb pine. how long will it be to get up there? Oh, it's a long. We're not doing that. Heck but no, we won't go. How long will it be up to go? I don't know. There and down there. Do you think it will be longer than this one? Oh, yes. Well, that's hard. This is a lot of uphill. That's to the top of the peak, Livia. That's the top of the mountain that you see there. Here's the start of our trail. All right. Wait. Don't run. Okay, we're at a high elevation, 10,000 feet right now, so How are we gonna... it's going to be easy to get out of breath. How does it come out of the tree? Oh, it's a magic fairy spring. It, it's like there's a hole and the fairies come into the yes. magic little fairy land. So being in Great Basin National Park, which is in the Great Basin Nevada area, one interesting, interesting thing about this water is it does not go to the ocean. It never makes it to the ocean. It ends up in this big basin that covers much of Nevada, and it eventually just dries up or evaporates. Just make out a little snow up there. Yep, Mount Rose is about 10,000 feet. And we're higher than it too. We're higher than that right now. We're like 10,000 and a few hundred. The peak is 13,400, something like that. Yeah, the trees are getting smaller. Turkeys. More deer up there. up here. This is Stella Lake. First lake on our tour today. We're on our way to the next lake. Teresa Lake I believe it's called. A little smaller one. Nope, nothing here goes to the ocean. Look oh, at this cute little brook. Lake Teresa. I think so. Trail out there, Olivia, zigzagging. No, but what's this? Oh, Hold on, dude, I'm reading. Bristol Pine Loop Trail. The most accessible bristle cone pine grove in is the Great the Basin. Tree? Some of the oldest living trees on Earth. Is that the oldest tree? Some bristle, bristle cone pines are nearly 5,000 year old, years old. Oldest living things in the world. Wow. This uh, little tree here was born 100. 2,000 years ago and it died 100. 600 years ago. I'm still amazed that it's not rot all rotted away up here, I guess, in the dry air. 
600 years and it's, and it's still just sitting there. Okay. So to answer my other question, the dense wood of the bristle cone has high resin content, which helps it resist decay. They sit around that makes the here. bristle cone not only the oldest living That's trees, slippery. but one of the oldest dead trees where they're gnarled trunks decaying slowly over centuries. Mm. Hmm. And you come up anyway, yeah, this tree right here is uh, 3,000 years old. But it's still alive, right? It's still alive, because, yeah, even though it looks all gnarled, it's still alive. Yeah. Right here, in front of you. That thing is 3,000 years old. This one's 3,200 years old. Still alive, with some, some needles up there. Wow, look at this one behind you, Livia, this dead one. Where is it dead? That one's cool looking. It looks like we got some hoopals resting over here. Logan, how soft is your bed there? I'm really soft. Livia, how soft is your bed? Hard like as a rock. Hard as a rock. Yeah, Logan's looks more comfortable than yours. <laughs> All right, the glacier's up this way, guys. Yeah, okay. uh, we're really getting up into the alpine now, probably at close to, well, not quite 11,000 feet yet, I don't think. See a little bit of the glacier right there. Tiny little one. Watch your step! The trail is getting a bit rocky. You finding the trail, Olivia? It's windy here to the top of the mountain. This is our trail. There's the minuscule glacier. The kids really found an extra burst of energy there. They're up ahead. They've been wanting to turn back for I don't know how long now, but now that I let them lead, they've uh, got their second wind. And we're almost to the end, I think. They found snow, snow and ice, in the middle of August in Nevada. Wow. Yay. You can definitely feel the elevation up here. There's the kids, their little lungs going like crazy. I'm getting out of breath. <laughs> so if it was 10 years ago, this is the end of the trail here. If it was 10 years ago, we'd probably have some glacier right here already. But it's just caught up in there. Yeah, there's a little seat there. I'm not going to go any further, there's not really a trail, just climbing over rocks if you wanted to get to that last little bit of snow and ice. But this is our biggest hike of the summer. It's been great. Oh, technically, it's only half done. we got to go all the way back still. At least that's mostly downhill though. And I don't know, I think we're at 11,000 and something feet right now. Eleven and a half. I'm not sure. That's some good booze. Booze. <laughs> <laughs> you got some water? Yeah. And the reward for such a big hard hike. What's your reward? Um, we're gonna watch.
watch a movie, but right oh. now we're watching. Yeah, yeah I'm going to let you watch a movie. We're eating cookies. Yes, you've earned some screen time by hiking up the mountain. And now you're eating cookies to replenish your energy. Here, next to a 2,000-year-old bristle cone. Bristle cones you can identify by the little pipe cleaner. Needles, see? They're like little pipe cleaners. As opposed to this, not bristle cone, bristle cone. Long hike back to the truck. I'm not sure what the total is going to be. Seven miles? 1,200 vertical feet? Something like that? from this morning. There's our there's our truck. We made it. Biggest hike of the summer. Logan, high fives. Oh we've all earned rewards. I think I need Yes. Yes we're here. After a short stay it was time to leave Great Basin. This park was a really nice surprise. Beautiful wilderness and extremely peaceful and uncrowded. 